in the name of God, who opens many paths and has 10 plans for any path you take, who enclosed you in the womb of your mother and set you free and let you thrive with the joy of life. Before September of 2001, China had been banned from the International Trade Organization, which is based out of New York City in the World Trade Center. China is banned from the World Trade Organization because 50 years ago, Mao did a starvation genocide of a country, killing 50 million people that we know of. The West decided that it was too dangerous for China to do what they did to their people over here in the West to our people. The West feared the loss of power and control over the people of the West. It was necessary for the West to prohibit China from partnership in the World Trade Organization as a punishment for genocide and a protection against the government of China from doing the same acts in the West that they do in China to their own people. All of that changed after September of 2001. The World Trade Towers crashed down, killing all of the people inside who worked for the World Trade Organization. Within 30 days, China signed the papers that officially made them a partner in the World Trade Organization. Within 10 years, China dominated world trade. They became number one in trade power in the world. The United States signed business deals under Obama so that every year they buy half of a trillion dollars of goods from China. Most of what Americans have in the stores is from China. At this time, the United States government began to talk among themselves about a call to action against China's predatory behaviors and economic blackmail, which was occurring often. Before long, it was 2015, and Iran was planning a surge of his army across Iraq to reach the Mediterranean Sea. It was a dangerous prospect for the United States because it struck a nerve of the American economy. Certainly, if Iran reaches the Mediterranean, the Americans will lose the trillion dollar gas contracts they have for drilling uh, gas in Iraq and Syria. Iran is a world power of the gas trade. There is no trade in the world that is more critical to the economy than gas. Gas powers economies. The Americans had blockaded Iran's gas trade to kill the heartbeat of Iran's economy China stood behind Iran, buying enough gas from Iran to keep them alive. China gives economic life support to Iran's economy to this day. Even the evil eyes of the Chinese Communist Party see Iran as a treasure of power in the Middle East, and Tehran is a pearl nestled on the seashore. For China, Iran is the shores of power where the East meets the West. Iraq is in the top five round table for world power of gas. Syria is a critical strategic gateway for gas trade, as well as having offshore gas worth trillions for centuries and for all time. If Iran were to gain economic power in Iraq and Syria, they would control more than half of the world power of gas trade. The Ayatollah is hostile, and Mao's protege behaves in his same ways. The danger from Iran is existential danger to the West.